remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a video circulating on social media of several people shoplifting cosmetics from a store. They're said to be taking advantage of a California law which outlaws arrest for theft under $950. This is one of those things that makes you go, ah, oh yeah? Caught me off guard. I had to investigate. The law was actually passed on November 4th 2014 and the measure's main effect were to convert many nonviolent offenses such as drug and property offenses from felonies to misdemeanors. These offenses include shoplifting, writing bad checks, and drug possession. The measure also required that the money saved as a result of the measure would be spent on school truancy and dropout prevention, victim services, mental health and drug abuse treatment, and other programs designed to keep offenders out of prison and jail. The measure included exceptions for offenses involving more than $950 and criminals with records including violent or sex offenses. For example, forgery had previously been a wobbler offense that could be charged by the prosecutor as a misdemeanor or a felony. Now with the passage of Proposition 47, Prosecutors cannot charge a forgery involving less than $950 as a felony unless the defendant has a criminal record. The measure both affects future convictions and allows people currently incarcerated for crimes covered by the measure to petition for resentencing. In November 2015, a report found that Proposition 47 had reduced the state's prison population by 13,000 and would save the state $150 million that same year. That's a big difference. That's a lot of money. 13,000 less inmates in the state of California. That's a good thing, right? So let's talk. With every law, especially anything that's got something to do with criminal, you have your pros and your cons. You got your supporters and your opposition. Supporters for the law include the New York Times, the LA Times, and the American Civil Liberties Union. Now, the ACLU kicked in $3.5 million to support the law. The tractors, the opposition, who y'all think is opposing this the most? Take a wild guess. Ding, 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 you guessed it. The state county prosecutors. Ah, they don't like it. Many of them don't like it. Not all of them, but many of them don't like it. You know why? Because they like locking people up. They like charging. They like putting people in jail. Put them in jail, put them in jail, put them in jail. No matter what it is, put them in jail. So they don't like it. You know, one of the uh, most prominent arguments made against the law was the possession of the date rape drug, Rohypnol. Hypnol is one of those controversial topics. You say you want to make women safe, and men too. Boys and girls. Everybody using this stuff. So, if you're caught with Rohypnol, that is now a misdemeanor, not a felony. Also, the opposition to the new law they don't like the fact that they can no longer force people who are 
caught with drugs who are users into treatment. They don't like that. They want to put them in jail. I like the law. Now, what I don't like is people rushing in folks, places of business, taking their stuff. But that ain't really got nothing to do with the law. People were doing that well before the law ever took place. And people ain't trying, even though it's a misdemeanor, you can still go to jail. You can still be charged. You can still have your life disrupted. So uh, they're saying that it's still too soon to see how the law has really impacted uh, the crime rate. But we'll see. I would advise anybody that's living that life where you're rushing in people's places of business, taking their stuff, to not count on the law to protect you from getting shot dead. If you're going to play that game, understand. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.